Hello and welcome to Prince Civil Services YouTube channel. My name is Dr. Sanchit and I welcome you all and we are going to continue our series that is history through MCQs where we learn about history but through MCQs that is multiple choice questions. So friends let's continue this series and today's topic or the questions are going to be from Buddhism and Jainism. This is part 4 we have already covered 1, 2 and 3 so please watch the previous videos in the playlist of history through MCQs. So let's start and solve the questions from Buddhism and Jainism. But before I start the questions, let's give you a glimpse of what topics you have to cover if you are reading Jainism and Buddhism. So first of all, you have to be very sure about rise of Jainism and Buddhism. Then some biography that is facts, figures, so, Vardhaman, Mahavir, Mahatma, Buddha, the birth, the death and the whole life. Then their teachings and philosophy. Then you have to learn another factual information that is literature, both Buddhist and Jainism. Then you have got councils. You must remember that there were four Buddhist councils and two Jain councils. You should know everything about that. We have uh, done a separate video on the councils. Uh, Buddhist and Jain, Jainism councils then you have to learn about their sect and in the end learn about the decline and the contribution of Jainism and Buddhism. Friends always remember this chapter Jainism and Buddhism is among the most important chapters from civil services exam perspective. Every year one or two questions will be asked from this chapter so please have extra focus on these topics. So let's start one by one solving the MCQ questions. As you are aware that I will be reading the question. So what you can do is you can just pause the video and solve on your own and then come back and look for the answer which is a very important part because I'm gonna provide extra information through the explanation. So the question number one in today's video is with the reference to Indian history, who among the following is future Buddha? So this is the main question. Who is the future Buddha? That is yet to come. So the options are Avalokiteshvara, Lokeshvara, Maitreya and Padmapani. So these are your four options and you can pause the video, solve the question. So right answer to this question is Maitreya. This is very important question. So Maitreya is the name or gonna be the name of the future Buddha which is yet to come. So in Buddhist tradition, the future Buddha who is Bodhisattva? What is, who is a Bodhisattva? Uh, it is a person who delays the Nirvan so that he can help others attain Nirvan. So that is a Bodhisattva. He is not a Buddha but has the capability of becoming the Buddha but delays the Nirvana ship so that he can help others attain Nirvana. So Maitreya right now is a Bodhisattva residing in Tushita heaven who will descend to earth to preach anew the Dharma. So it is yet to come. He will be the future Buddha and he will when he will come so there will be a new Dharma, new law. Right now, he is in the category of Bodhisattva. So the right answer to this question is Maitreya. Very important question. Question number two. Again, a very important question. The painting of Bodhisattva Padmapani. I have explained you the Bodhisattva. Who is a Bodhisattva? Now, there are a lot of Bodhisattvas. One of them or one of the most important Bodhisattva is Padmapani. So the question is asking about Bodhisattva Padmapani. The painting of Bodhisattva Padmapani is one of the most famous and often illustrated painting. So there is a painting and which is very famous of Bodhisattva Padmapani. The question is asking where this painting is to be found. So there are four options. Ajanta, Badami, Bagh and Elora. So these are the names of the caves where there are paintings, inscriptions and so on. 
सो द क्वेश्चन इज वेयर इज द पेंटिंग ऑफ बोधि सत्व पद्म पानी टू बी फाउंड दीज आर योर ऑप्शन लेट्स हैव द आंसव सो द आंसवर इज अजंता केव द मोस्ट फेमस केव केव ऑफ द बुद्धिज्म सो देज आर देर आर अराउंड थर्टी केव सो अजंता इज इन महाराष्ट्र औरंगाबाद डिस्ट्रिक्ट सो देर आर थर्टी केव ऑल बुद्धिस्ट केव वेयर यू कैन हैव दिस टाइप द ब्यूटिफुल पेंटिंग सो दिस इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पेंटिंग दैट इज ऑफ बोधि सत्व पद्म पानी सो द आंसवर इज अजंता केव which is a group of 30 caves related to buddhism located in aurangabad district of maharashtra question number 3 which among the following was not a contemporary of the other three so always be very thorough with the question reading now the question is asking not a contemporary contemporary means not a uh, contemporary means existing at the same time so if there are four person they are all uh, at the same time period so they are contemporaries but the question is asking not a contemporary so there are four names bembasar gautam budh milinda prasannajit so the time period should be same when they were present so the answer is milinda you can have sometimes you have to learn about the time periods the timelines so you can see there bembasar 543 bc to 491 bc gautam budh 563 bc to 483 bc prasannajit in the 6th century bc itself so the odd one out is milinda the indo greek ruler also known as menander was present in 2nd century bc not in the 5th or the 6th century i hope this question the contemporary uh, in civil services this these type of questions are asked uh, there are uh, bhakti saint there are sufi saint there are kings so the question is asking that who were the contemporaries among the options bembasar gautam budh and prasannajit they were present in the common timeline common time frame milinda was present in 2nd century bc who was milinda he was a indo greek ruler question number 4 related to the previous question melindo pana is in the form of a dialogue between the king menander the melinda and the buddhist monk so the question is this is a text melinda pano so the name of the book so the question is asking so this is a book in which there is a dialogue between the king menander and a buddhist monk the question is asking who was that buddhist monk so your options are nagsena nag arjun nag bhat and kumari bhat so these are your four options who is who was the buddhist monk which had dialogue with the king menander also known as melinda so the right answer to this question is nagsena this is the right answer that is nagsena was the buddhist monk which had a conversation with or a dialogue with king menander also known as melinda and after that king menander or the melinda was converted to buddhism so you can see the answer melindo pana is a buddhist text which dates from sometime between 100 bc and 200 ad it records a dialogue between this is important nagasena was a buddhist saint and the indo greek ruler menander also known as melinda you should have a very good knowledge about most famous text i have given you the list that you should also have the literature literary knowledge so this melindo panha is a book so it is between nagasena and the menendo time for the last question for the day with reference to the religious practices in india the sthanak vasi sect belongs to in the introduction slide i told you you have to remember about the sect of jainism and buddhism so the question is regarding the sect the name is given and the question is asking this sect belongs to which religion so the name of the sect is sthanak vasi sect belongs to buddhism jainism vaishnavism or shaivism so these are the four religions 
Buddhism, Jainism, Vaishnavism, and Shaivism. So the right answer is your Shwetambar and Shwetambar is one of the major sect of Jainism. So the right answer is Jainism. Sthanakvasi sect is one of the sub-sect of Jainism. So you can see the answer. There are two major sect of Jainism. Digambar and Shwetambar. Digambars who are sky clad. Sky clad. Or who do not wear any cloth. Or they are naked. They are known as Digambar. Then there is the option of Shwetambar. Shwetambar are those monks who were, who wore the white clothes or white clad. So these are the two main sect. Now the question is question was about Sthanakvasi. So Sthanakvasi is the subsect of the sect Shwetambar, which is a sect of Jainism. The question was this only. So these are uh, it is a modern sect. This Sthanakvasi subsect is also known as Dundia. Very important. Now, friends, what is happening in the civil services exam is that earlier the question from Jainism and Buddhism was straightforward. But right now, everyone studies the chapter. So they are going into a much, much uh, deeper or much depth. So this is how you need to learn about that. Now, in the image, you can have a look. This is, Shwet this is a monk who belongs to Shwetambar set. And uh, he is a monk belonging to Digambar. I already told you Shwetambar, the white clothes and Digambar, no clothes or the white uh, uh, sky clad. So this was today's video. We solved five questions. I hope you have already solved the previous ones. If not, please watch the previous videos. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel that is Prince Civil Services. You can also follow us on Instagram and Telegram. So thanks for watching. Keep watching and keep learning. Thank you.